The final thing I wanted to go over is what to modify within the create drawing dialog box. So I've been going through the name boundary box. And so this is the create drawing box that will pop up after you create your name boundaries. The main thing I want you to pay attention to is going to be the scales. So the sheet model, you always want it to be at a one-to-one -one scale. And then you want the detail scale of the sheet model and the annotation scale of the drawing model to match. So sometimes you might use a DGN lib, a drawing seed, and you want it at a different scale from what the DGN lib is. And so you want to make sure that those match up. Otherwise, your annotation scale will look off. And everything else should pre-populate from the DGN lib. You can change the annotation group here. If you want one sheet per DGN, you can check this and you'll have a, your sheet and your drawing model go to its own sheet. Or you can have, by checking this, all of your drawing models in the same file or in a different file and same right here for the sheet and for the sheet model. So let me go through some of that. So let's say I'm going to create some profile name boundaries and I want the detail scale to be one inch equals 20. So I'm going to come in here and place some name boundaries. I want the create drawing dialog box to pop up. Okay, so now you can see all is not matching my annotation scale. So let's just click OK and see what that looks like. And so you can see that the annotation is pretty small. So if I go back to my profile model and then my name boundaries and my profile groups, turn on to show the create drawing dialog box and click this. And so now I'm going to change the annotation scale to match. And let's open that. Okay, and so the annotation um, scale is now matching. And so the annotation is looking better. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.